How you doing? Ghost of Brooklyn here today. Today we are going to install the Ghost Triad inside a vintage 1950s Parlor guitar. Well, that, they be right there, is Ghost Triad. Right? And we're going to use quarter pin, end pin jack, quarter inch end pin jack so that your guitar can plug right in. It's not installed yet. We're going to cut it down a little bit. We're going to cut it down six inches. We're going to make a fit. All right. All right. So this is going inside this beautiful guitar right here. All right. It's a 1950s Paula guitar. Bridge. I took the bridge off so that we could work on it. Bridge goes right about here. It's a floating bridge. So with the floating bridge, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get. We're basically trying to get. Right. Floating bridge, trying to get the pickup right about here. Okay, that's the sweet spot. Right, the pickup. Now you could use what I do is I'll plug this thing in, I'll wire it up, and then I'll I'll take a piece of uh, putty, see, a piece of putty, and I'll put it. This is where we're going to glue the ghost triad inside the guitar to the under part of the soundboard right but if you want to test it from the outside you take a piece of putty you stick it in there like a little pea sized piece right okay and then you plug it in right just plug in your guitar and you can stick it right there and you get an idea of what it sounds like more or less what it sounds like outside is pretty close to what it's going to sound like inside. So, so you could do that on your own. But what here? My expertise, and I invented this thing, and and uh, a lot of the research that has gone into placing uh, inside pickups, piezo pickups, uh, rigged with bottle caps, <clears throat> tends to be okay. This is the low E string. It, the sweet spot tends to be just above the bridge over here okay that's the spot right now you could the closer you get to the bridge it starts to sound a little thin and honky right it sounds it doesn't sound it doesn't sound warm it sounds very tinny so I know that there's a lot of uh, different types of pickups out there. Some of them will recommend that you put this right underneath the bridge. This is not the this is not the, that pickup. This pickup is designed to be right around over here. Now you notice it's only it's only glued in one spot on this piece right here. Right? We're going to put a it's about a one inch square. Not even it's three. It's about a half inch square. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, glue only that piece. Right? We're not gluing the whole thing down. We're only the pickup only touches the guitar at that one little that one little spot on the inside. So that's what it'll look like on the inside. You could put it. It doesn't matter which way you put it, but you generally want to put it on the inside facing the hole because that's where the output jack is. Okay, so that's the pickup, right? You fish around, you find your spot. I've determined with this guitar, I put a little X there. Where's my X? Put a little X somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Yeah, it's over here somewhere. Okay, so that's basically my spot, right? Now, here's the fun part. You have to get this thing inside the guitar, right? And I've told you that it's it's the sweet spot is right right around here. Once you determine your sweet spot, what you do is you got to go inside the guitar, right? You take the strings and you bend the strings out. You loosen them up and then you just put them. You just sit them to the side of the nut, right? So there's no string, right? There's no string in front of it. So what you're doing is you're able to. You got a hole here now, right? You don't have to take the strings off to do this, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go inside the inside the sound hole. My hand inside the sound hole. Ooh, I'm inside the hole. Right? So that's basically what it looks like. What you have to do, there's no shortcut to this, right? You have to fish around. Every guitar is different. So you have to put your hand inside. 
And fish around, fish around. You're, you're trying to get up, you're feeling this, the outside. This is the soundboard. This is the back of the guitar. We're not going near the back. We're going underneath the, where the bridge would be, right here. Okay, so now that I'm inside the guitar, right, what do I feel? There's a, there's actually a block of wood in this particular guitar. There's, right over here is a uh, piece of wood bracing, a, a brace, bracing the guitar. And over here is like a, it's a square thin piece of wood that runs from, it seems like right here to right here. And it's about this wide, right? And that's where the bridge sits. Now, logic suggests that you would take you would take the pickup and glue it to that thing. No. No. Because what happens is you'll pick up the vibration of the whole block of wood in there. And it what I've found is that it causes it causes the guitar, no matter where you put it in there, it sounds thin. So what we're gonna do now, like I said, there's a block of wood in here square we're going to go right above that block that's my sweet spot it's right about here it's above the piece of it's 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 right about here and it's above the piece of the block of block of wood right so but you stay in the guitar for a while what are you in a rush if you're not in a rush you know you can't be in a rush to do this you gotta you get in there and you feel around you can go all the way you can put your hand all the way in all the way to the boat back of the block right there's a block of wood in there you can feel the block of wood I can feel the hole that goes all the way through the guitar I'm gonna pull this thing out right and you got the you got a hole in there but that's not that's not big enough for what we're gonna do which is we're gonna install this thing right this hole right here is not big enough for this, right? So this is going to be installed here, right? It's not big enough, so we're going to drill it out to a half an inch. Okay? We use a drill, we're going to drill it out to a half an inch. So now that I've determined my spot, I have my wires, I have my um, spot picked out. I'm not going to glue it yet. The next move is that I have to solder this piece to this okay and if you buy the ghost triad from me or on eBay it's already installed but just as a as a, as a just as a uh, educational thing there's two there's two uh, you see that there's two two poles there one of them we're not even going to use right that's for stereo this is we don't need that the short one is center so the ghost triad is all the reds are center. So the, the short, the red is going to go to the short one. And then the black is return. That goes to the post. You literally glue, you literally solder it to the post. Okay, so that, that's, that's how that's going to go. All right, so, but I do that for you. Okay, so it's, the short one is center red and the post is black okay okay so now we're going to do a couple of things So we did a little soldering job. You see that's all installed now. So there you have it. Red to the center and black to the post.
Okay, so we're moving right along. Now we have our fully installed end pin jack. It's soldered and it's also uh, has some hot glue on there so it won't come off. Solid connection. Okay. And we have our, we've bored our hole out to a half an inch so that the, so that fits. Now here comes the fun part. What we do is, now that the strings are separated, we take the whole pickup and we just put it inside. No glue yet. I have not glued it yet. Right? You put it inside, and like I said earlier, you get get familiar with the placement. Right? Know where you're going to put it. Right? So now I'm inside the hole, and I'm I'm shooting for this. I'm shooting for this spot right over here. Okay. It looks a little more clumsy than it actually is, but once you're inside there, you can get a sense of where it is. Now, there's two, it's like a rocking chair as well, where you have, so you have, you have, you have two sides, you have a center and then two sides. So when you put it right in the middle, when you put it in that middle piece, you'll hear it, you'll know when it's flush on the little piece in the middle. Right? And now the other thing is, once you glue it, you're going to be inside this hole for about 45 seconds holding it in that place. So, again, just fish around. It's no rush, okay? No rush. If you're in a rush, this isn't the right job to do. Right? So you fish around, you hold, you, you got your hand in there. Make sure that the... Make sure that the lead wire is facing down, because the lead wire is going to come out the back. See? So when you put it in there, don't put it in this way. Put it in this way. Okay. It's not hard. Try it a couple of times. You're only going to glue it once. Alright. Okay. I feel like I have my spot. Alright, so now we're going to glue. We're going to glue. We're using um, Gorilla gel glue and again it's not rocket science we're going to put a drop right in the center there see that center piece put a nice little drop in there okay it's one little drop and that's really it now we go back to the guitar you got there's not a, a, a terrible rush the building isn't on fire make sure you got it in place don't glue it to your hand and now fish around for the spot Okay, you fish around for that spot. I'm still, not, I still haven't pushed it against the guitar yet. Okay, I have my spot. Now I'm sure of my spot. Okay, I got it in there and I'm flush to the soundboard of the guitar. I'm right about, right about here. It feels like, okay. And I'm holding it pretty tight. I'm holding it with all my fingers pretty tight in there for about 45 seconds. I don't know, 45 seconds will pass. We'll have some fun in between. Okay. How you doing? Okay, it hold, it's holding. Now it's inside the guitar. It's fully, it's not fully installed, but it's glued in. So we're going to just let that sit for a while, a minute or two. Okay, so the next step in the process is we're going to put the end pin jack and we're going to push it out the hole. Now there's just enough fine. You see, it's not, I'm not hanging on, I'm not yanking on it, I'm not pulling on it. There's not a lot of excess. What I'm going to do is, usually if it's impossible to... Uh, if it's too long and you can't get your hand in there, we use a hanger. Just make a little, uh, make a little hook on your hanger there, and you stick it in the hole, and then you, you hook the thing. But in this, in this case, it's pretty easy because I'm just going to stick my hand right in, and I can get all the way to the hole. Watch. There's that hole. You just got to fish around in the dark a little bit, and then. That hole. 
fingers. Pow! See that? Okay, so we came right out the hole there. Now, hold on to that. Okay, so now what we're doing is, now that we have our half inch screw end pin jack coming through, we're going to put these two screws in there. So I'm feeding them, I'm feeding them in this way, right? I'm feeding them in the top of the hanger. A piece of hanger there. A little piece of coat hanger goes a long way. And you see how the knob, how the little washer falls right on there. Okay. And you put your nut on there. And you start to screw it on, right? Easy as pie, right? Mm -hmm. Oops. There's a little screw, there's a little hole in there. So you just try to you can use any kind of tool really, whatever works. Right? A little tighten. Okay, so here we are, I found it. This is the uh, little end pin jack. And screw right in there. Easy as pie. Okay. So now, there we go. A fully installed ghost pickup. I'm going to check it. Make sure it's, it's holding in place. Holding nicely. It's in place. It's fully wired into the back there. See that? Okay. Now, the next step is, let's tune up the guitar. Back in tune. And now the moment of truth. We're all plugged in. We're using a little checker here, a little a, uh, amp pedal, no effects. Straight into the amp. the highs all the way up and turn that down if you want a little warmer sound. How about that? 